So as an attorney, that uh, I don't say feminist attorney, but anyway, it's, uh, your occupation as a professional gonna give you uh, beside your personality as a woman, uh, as uh, as spouse, uh, it's gonna be uh, gonna give you a spectrum of uh, uh, willing to help the people on one side and it, it gonna give them more meaningful uh, it uh, was a process that you're getting through a uh, commitment for uh, for uh, you know it's from your side as well uh, that side that you're gonna get uh, divorced and what to happen in the future as an attorney or as a feminist attorney how do you see that the same as I see that as a rabbi? Okay. Well, what, what happens is traditionally the way the courts are structured is this person versus that person. Now they too, they have finances in common, children in common, and they have their future relationship in common because if they have kids, they're going to deal with each other for the rest of their life. So that's mm -hmm. a sacred relationship that's not addressed mm -hmm. in the court system. It's actually sabotaged because you're against each other so and so versus so and so right so that's not a structure that's really ideal for families mm -hmm. and uh, and and if they don't and even if they go through the long court system and they burn their use their fine you know resources to get somebody who doesn't know about the family decide for them it, it's not gonna be the, the judge doesn't know what works for everyone. They're going to have to live with somebody's orders, and they're still going to. It's still not going to work. So it never really gets resolved. So you want something that they work together on, that they resolve together. Mm -hmm. It's almost better to give more to the other, not necessarily 50-50. It's almost better to just be able to move on. This is. This is. You know, and I'm not saying you, you. It, I'm not saying you have to give what, whatever, but you can't think about. Okay, what would be? Maybe we could have a way that you both are going to be taken care of, mm -hmm. because it's not necessarily how much we divide everything, but what is your real interest? What's my real interest? And we could have a plan, perhaps that. Even really that are separated, even yes, that are separated yes, for you know, the benefits an, of the kids. Yeah, you can have an uh, like an orange. You can cut it half, or maybe somebody wants the orange, the other one wants the peel. I don't know, right? Mm -hmm. It's uh, it, it's for, even for their own benefit, not just. I mean, the kids, obviously, it's the, the they are um, the kids are really uh, ultimately their almost precious assets yeah we, we spoke about this uh, spouse getting uh, separated and divorce and so on and the uh, side of the rabbis and the uh, educators as well uh, teachers and educational counselors as well a uh, marriage counselor pre-marriage counseling prenatal arguments and so on but from the point of view of the kids how does it look well here's what you want to see uh, their life is upside down they're very much have no idea what's happening. They're scared. They and then and then what they see is really parents who are uh, in you know they're opposing each other. There there is the experience could be that there's no one there really, and they feel obligated they have to take somebody's side, and usually they take the side of the parent who's weaker. Wow. Right? Because they want to protect the, you know, mm -hmm. okay, you're okay, uh, I'm going to take care. So they feel responsible to take care of mm -hmm. the families. And the, it's just uh, the impact is huge because not only there are no parents, but they, get ha they find themselves that they have to be the parents of the parents. Mm -hmm. And what's going to happen, to, you know, to, uh, for what's going to happen with these kids is coming from the single parents? even not getting married well that's or you know it's, yeah it's so you know you're saying that uh, well um we, we have single parents then what happens the single parents uh 
will probably have to work to be self-sufficient and not be able to be there for the kids. So From the side of the parents, I'm yeah. saying, for the point of view of the kids, we have, I think, more than, it, uh, we have maybe two million uh, kids from the single parents and so on. Uh, what's I think you should interview the kids who are how, how who raised single parents. How do they see the, uh, the, uh, this separation? And what's going to happen with them, They're with the virtual uh, you know, world that we are uh, living Well, with. I don't know. Maybe the addictions, yeah. alcohol, and, uh, right, and so on. Right. That so we're going to look something, right. something that's going to give them uh, enjoy to uh, compensate enjoy. for the void. Yeah, to compensate for the void. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Who knows? Maybe they stop believing in marriage themselves. That's the point. Maybe right. going to yeah. avoid going to get to any commitments. Yeah. going to make marriage. It's not the impact of. Uh, yeah. It's the impact of the pre-marriage counseling, uh, com uh, the commitment and getting married uh, uh, or be lonely. It's better to, to get a partnership together financially as well, uh, a common goal. Right, right. But, but there's uh, not all legal matters, it's legal impacts are going to be divorcement of the uh, two that are getting separated on the uh, kids as well on their own uh, what's that uh, uh, on their own yeah. future yeah. and the uh, future of the kids that you have yep. in common? Yep, yep. Uh, another one. So we, we have to wrap. Yeah, and <laughs> uh, do you have any message for uh, any? I think the message is that um, you, it Good. seems that what you provide, yeah. you're impartial, mm -hmm. you care about mm. families. And uh, it's better to, it's always, always better for both of them not to fight. Except, I would say, in areas of violence. And even then, you may be able to influence um, that, um, you may be able to influence and give them the help and support they need mm -hmm. so they can let go. As you uh, know during these uh, yeah. 15 or 20 years that uh, you know our project and so on in the pre-marriage counseling as well uh, family dispute uh, what's a resolution uh, center, mediation, arbitration, educational counseling, original counseling for the communities and so on, seminars it's, um, and also not only pre-marriage, during the marriage and after post-divorcement, uh, uh, mm -hmm. they're going to reconstruct it, given the proactive coaching and so on. For, uh, for our organization, Jewish Leadership of Harmony Center, that we have so in common with your mm -hmm. organization as our right, attorneys, right. that you're all together. Correct. Uh, how do you think that we can work with each other, these two organizations, in, the, in something common, you know, for society not only Jewish society I mean uh, oh, universal just for society so it's what so we can do as two organization for the sake and the benefits of this society that we're living with as two organizations uh, I think it's important for them to see who they're comfortable with in getting the guidance and support in mm -hmm. thinking what's and doing the what's right for them mm -hmm. and um, and uh, and it's really in really the relationship that first they get to know you and talk with you and you know mm -hmm. either way mm -hmm. uh, so as far as my organization it is very much aligned with yours in them having a team approach yes right um, and but I but what you provide for them um, I guess what you're asking is we have what in common for the best of the families what, yeah. and for their future mm -hmm. as right? it you know so uh, from the halacha side as well educational and uh, you, you know you, family you may, therapy you may be able to coaching yeah, that you yeah. can uh, maybe accomplish it uh, gonna yeah. gonna somehow it's gonna help one each other 
for the benefits of the society. That's something we should talk about, right? Yes. That's something you have to okay. talk about. Okay. Okay? Thank right, you very thank much. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you very much. Okay.